Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Jeff at Lockdown Security, www.lockdownsecurity.ca. And I'm bringing you a video today on the new for 2017 Kenwood DNX 573S Garmin Navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DVD, AM, FM, CD head unit. I've got it installed in one of my personal vehicles, which is a 2016 Mitsubishi RVR. Uh, in the United States and other areas of the world, that's also known as the Mitsubishi Outlander Sport, the small little SUV. Uh, essentially, this unit is a 6.1 inch touchscreen Garmin navigation equipped unit with a volume dial uh, with CarPlay or Android Auto. In this case, I've got uh, an Apple iPhone connected, so CarPlay is what will uh, operate. For those of you who don't know what CarPlay is, it is essentially the ability to control your phone directly through the radio and control all the major apps such as phone calls, music, maps, messages, uh, podcast, audio box, and then to go back to my home, it goes back to the Kenwood menu. Uh, if we go to the nav button, you're going to see it's got Garmin navigation, which as many of you are aware is probably the, the premier type of navigation software to use. This Kenwood and all Kenwood uh, units that are compatible with navigation will come equipped with Garmin. Uh, I've got the iDatalink Maestro RR equipped on this vehicle. I'm just going to show you what that is. Essentially what the RR does. Oh. is gives me gauges. Um, I may or may not have it plugged in at the moment. I uh, have this actually temporarily installed because I am switching it to the Kenwood DMX 7704, another brand new head unit. I'll be making another YouTube video on this once I finish uh, and I'll have the RR working. But essentially I do have the RR set up in here. Uh, there is actually our gauge button right there. There we go. Uh, you're going to see essentially uh, RPM, if I step on the gas, you'll see it shows on the radio screen. Uh, you've got a couple of other things too, I'm just going to turn the volume down here. Um, you've got mass airflow, you've got timing, you got mass air pressure, torque, uh, fuel level. Uh, it's all synced to the radio using the iDatalink Maestro RR. The other thing that's synced to the radio, steering wheel controls, track back, track forward, Siri. Siri may not work because I don't have a SIM card in the iPhone that's in there. Uh, phone call answer, phone call end, basically right here. All of this is integrated into the radio. The other thing I want to show everybody is I'm using the Access AX Mitsu cam. So in this particular vehicle, it did come with a factory backup camera. I've been able to retain that. If I put it in reverse, there's the factory backup camera. I'll hop out of the vehicle and I'll show you why I retained it. This right here is the factory backup camera. Uh, I really like the of it. I didn't want to change it. The car already came with it, so why not retain it? Uh, I will admit the image quality is not as good as an aftermarket camera, but hey, I didn't actually have to install a new backup camera and it's fully integrated. In order to do that, you do need this access harness. We carry these harnesses in our online store. We have these for a number of different vehicles, many new vehicles. We can retain your OEM backup camera, even if you change the head, the head unit, excuse me. Uh, I'll just put it back into park. Uh, a couple of other things. It does have HD radio. It does have a DVD player. The DVD slot is right here. It's got an SD card slot for map updates as well as firmware updates. This particular unit, I have not updated the firmware. I put this unit in about three months ago, so it's running the initial firmware. There were a couple of glitches with the initial firmware that the firmware updates that have now been released resolve. Uh, some CarPlay connection issues, etc. but that's all been fixed now. Uh, the other thing that the firmware updates uh, addressed, you may have noticed in my video, the touchscreen was not as sensitive as I would like, as I'm sure some of my viewers would like. Uh, the firmware update addressed that as well. So, to conclude the video, if you are looking for a Garmin navigation equipped in-dash head unit with CarPlay and Android Auto, the DNX 573 S is a great choice. Uh, any Kenwood head unit is a great choice, but if you're looking for something that's got not only CarPlay and Android Auto, but built-in nav, this is a great uh, solution for your needs. And uh, if you have any questions, contact us, sales at lockdownsecurity.ca. You can call us 1-866-824-4118 or visit us on the web, lockdownsecurity.ca. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you could, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It does go a long way to help us make more videos like this in the future. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.